Welcome back team and this is your power challenge workout today. So let's ignite fire within and let's begin with a quick and effective warm up first. Your first warm up exercise today is your walk to plank. So join me guys when you're ready and I will give you a quick heads up what to expect from this challenge while we're doing this warm up. First of all, again, warm up is really important. We'll bring our heart rate up so we can start to burn even more calories but it as well, the most importantly, it will prevent the injuries during the workout. So warm up is really important. All right, guys, I'm using two sets of dumbbells today. 12 pounds for the block number one and the 10 pounds dumbbells for the block number two. I also have a 15 pound kettlebell today, but if you don't have that, don't worry, you can always replace your kettlebell for your dumbbells. Let's do a few more. Walk to plank. Beginners, you can put your knees on the floor if you get tired in your plank. Try to keep up with me on the tempo. We have a couple more. So we have two full blocks and a quick and effective abs exercises at the very end. Last one, guys. Come on back up. Excellent. So your second exercise today is your squat to front leg raise toe top so step wider begin when you're ready all the way reach guys try to reach all the way to the straight leg very effective and challenging squat with the leg lift will bring our heart rate even faster so your first blow guys we're going to do for three rounds this is add on exercise challenge block so each and every block we will add an extra exercise Second block is your takeaway reps. We have five exercises there, and we're gonna do total four rounds. So we do less reps each and every round for the block number two. Keep on working. We almost through this warm up exercise. Couple more, guys. Reach. And let's do one more on each side. All the way, waking up. Perfect. Your final warm up exercise today is your burpee to your bear. Beginners, you can step back instead of half. Get ready and let's begin. All right. Arms on fire, legs on fire, abs on fire. This is our final warm up exercise. Good job. We're gonna do four more up here. Excellent, three left. All right, guys, super strong. So mine for a successful workout. We're gonna do our absolute best. This is your final one. So let's drink our water. So for the first block, as I said, I will be using mix of the heavier dumbbells, 12 pounds each dumbbell I have today, and a 15 pound kettlebell. But you don't have to use kettlebell. If you don't have it, you will be using just one dumbbell. All right, your first exercise is your squat to your good morning squat. That will target your legs totally and fully, your arms and your abs. So we're gonna step a little bit wider. I will demo it for you for the first time. So it's a regular squat into the glutes. On the way up, you bring the dumbbells together to your chest. You do your good morning. All right, get ready, 16 reps, guys. First round, only two exercises. Let's go. Simultaneously to the good morning. That's it. Squat. I count, we all doing the job. Do not hurry up, guys. I want to see a good form in those squats. Perfect. Number four. Your good morning squat slash deadlift targeting your back and your legs simultaneously keep working guys a little bit lower squat dumbbells good morning that's it together we've got it abs in guys abs in all the time so we are halfway through we have only eight reps left for this exercise Perfect. Dumbbells together. 
Good morning. Bend over in squat. Good job. I want you to pick up the weights, guys. You can perform all the reps. All right, we are only four reps short. That's it, three left. Good work, all the way together. Two more, guys. Last one, just in case. We've got this together. All right, if you do have your kettlebell for the next exercise, I need you to grab your kettlebell. If you don't have one, that's okay. You're gonna be using dumbbell. Your next exercise is your rare lunge, kettlebell switch, and wide grip pro. You will lunge back with the leg, the hand you hold in your kettlebell. All right, I'm gonna demo it for you. So take a look. You transfer on the way up. You do your row. Get ready, guys. Set. And here we go. So lunge on the side where your kettlebell. 16 total. Don't hurry up. It's a brain exercise as well. Work in the body, work in the brain. So the luck, which stepping back, the side is your kettlebell or your dumbbell. I'm gonna tell you when we're halfway through. That's perfect. Focus on the good quality lunge, guys. That's it. One more and we're gonna be halfway through. It's a little bit more challenging to do with a, cat, with a dumbbell instead of the kettlebell, this specific exercise, but you can do it. Just be a little bit more precise on your grip. Almost, don't forget that row. That's good. All right, we have only four to go. Three. Very good. I'm breaking the sweat already. Take it back up. All right. As I said, this is the add-on exercises block. So we will repeat these two exercises one more time from the top, and then we're gonna add exercise number three to that. Squat to the good morning. I'm gonna grab my set 12 pounders, each dumbbell, feet hips width apart, shoulders up, back and down, squat in your glutes, passion, commitment, and vision, guys. Vision, vision, vision and purpose in life. Take it back. Without that, we don't know where we're going. I'm gonna cue you guys H4, so we don't lose the count of the reps. Excellent. Squat into the heels and glutes. Bring them together to your chest. Don't grab the dumbbells. Release, guys, pour through. All together. That's it. Abs in, guys. Perfect. Stay with me. We are almost halfway through. Don't stop. All right, we have eight reps. Squat together. Good morning, abs in. Nice and strong arms, guys. On your good morning arms, elbows straight on the side. That's perfect. All right, my friends, we have only four to go. All the way down. Two left. Good work. Last one. All the way. Dumbbells and the good morning. Excellent. Put your dumbbells back if you do have a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, guys, that's okay. Then you're gonna be using your one dumbbell for this exercise. All right. I'm gonna use in my 15 pounders 
dumbbell. Remember, you step back with the leg. It's the same side you hold in your kettlebell. Don't forget your wide grip row. Begin. Simultaneous row once you stand back up after switch. That's it. We are four reps through if you follow in me. That's it. I got you guys, I got you. Watch your quality lunges, please. Switch. That's it. All right, we are officially halfway through. That's it. I'm so excited, guys, for you for this workout. This is challenging. And I didn't tell you yet that I have a surprise for you. Yes, I do. All right, all the way. Now start to get excited. We have only, guys, two repetitions left. That's perfect, last one. Good quality switch. Take it back, all right. In this round, round number two, we add one more exercise, guys. And I'm gonna be using 12 pounds. The next exercise is your progress squat, but with simultaneous and, not but, and simultaneous bicep curl overhead on the way back up. Take a look. Toes slightly out, it's a low squat. So squat and bicep curl all together. Come on up and finish it. And we begin from the top. Pick the right set of dumbbells, get ready. Set, here we go. All the way, simultaneous, push, back again I count don't forget your bicep curl I will remind you this is a challenging brain exercise seems like easy take it back bicep curl guys press up four reps complete bicep lower frogger back up dumbbells are challenging 12 pounds I'm not going to quit Frogger, bicep curl, don't forget. That's it. All the way up. We are almost halfway through. If you need to switch your dumbbells for lighter ones, you can. All right, guys, halfway. Bicep. That's perfect, we have only six reps to complete. Try not to drop those dumbbells, guys, on the way back. Release them with control. I know you do. Just that gentle reminder. All right, four reps, guys. Make it happen. Push it all the way. That's good. All right, guys, two more. Push it. One more, guys, come on. That's it, success. We did it together, all right. We're gonna put the dumbbells back, drink the water. Block number one, round number three. We'll have four exercises. So we take it from the top and we add one more exercise to that. This is your add-on exercise challenge. Grab your dumbbells, squat to good morning, guys. Squat decent, up scene, chest lifted. Make a big movement for your chest and hold them tight. All right, we begin. Simultaneously bring them up. Squat. Perfect. Take it back. I count. Don't drop the elbows. Pull the dumbbells together on your good morning. That's it. All right, four through. We're getting there. This is gonna be the most challenging round of this block because we're doing all four exercises here. That's it. Halfway through, everyone. All right. Let's talk a little bit about 
deeper inspiration and motivation. Unless, guys, we start to look inside for that inspiration, motivation, and purpose, the fire is always going to be short term. There is no inspiration and motivation is a true one. Of course, there is some, but the true one is within. We have four reps left. Once we define our purpose, our goal, our vision for our life and direct it, nothing is going to happen. Come on. Last one, team. Come on, you can do it. All the way. That's it. Awesome work. All right, if you have kettlebell, it's time for you to grab your kettlebell. If not, use your dumbbell. Drink your water. Stay hydrated. We'll begin 16 reps. Don't forget your single arm wide grip row. The leg is going back where you're holding your kettlebell. Transfer. That's good. Excellent work. Awesome. All right. We complete four. Step for the good quality lunge first. A little bit thinking here, but I think doing it third time is definitely helping. Easier to figure it out the side. Our brain needs constant stimulation, just like our physical body. All right, keep on going. We have only eight reps to finish. Find that balance with a counter of the other arm. Exactly what I'm doing. That's perfect. Give me a good quality row up, guys. Last one. We got this together. All right, let's sip the water. I need you to stay hydrated and strong. And then grab your dumbbells. Pick the right set. This is challenging Froger, guys. Froger to simultaneous at the same time. Your bicep curl. Step a little bit wider. Heel closer. Toes out. Dumbbells up front. Don't forget your strong bicep. Here we go, right away. Overhead. That's it. I want to see a good Froger, guys. That's me, it's pretty low. It's lower than the regular squat. Frogger squat is amazingly effective. Works each and every inch of our legs. That's it. Bicep. That's perfect bicep, guys. Excellent, we're halfway through. We only have eight reps to go. Let's make it happen. Push it off. Six reps, guys. That's it. My legs start to die a little bit. As well as my arms. All right. Perfect. Three to go, team, all together. Keep the abs tight. Push press. Last one, everybody. All right, push it, reach back. All right, guys, exercise number four. Drink your water, stay hydrated. This is your kettlebell swing, guys. Kettlebell swing to the windmill. So again, if you don't have kettlebell, you can definitely use your dumbbell. I'm gonna be using 15 pounds. Kettlebell, if you have kettlebell, grab it outside like this for your swing. I'm gonna demo for you one time. Down swing, we go for the windmill. We transfer the weight, we hold the arms. Super strong, guys. All right, guys, ready? Set. We're going to start over hot and begin. Up, six in total, each leg. Eight windmills. Reach. 
all the way. Take it back down. Reach, guys. All the way. Try to hold those arms. Extend it and strong, guys. Windmill, transfer the weight. Good work. Give me a good quality strong kettlebell swing slash slam. Controlled one. That is perfect. This is our number eight. All right, push it through. Take it back up. That's it. Down, guys. Reach. All the way. Six reps to go. Let's finish strong together. Perfect. My arms feel in it. For sure in my shoulders. Reach. All the way. Slam. Reach. Two reps left. Don't quit. All the way side. And one more. That is it. All the way. Arms definitely on fire. Wrist and shoulders. Put your kettlebell back. Drink your water. And your block number one, your add-on exercises, is officially complete. So here we come for our cardio burst. All right, guys. So for your cardio burst, we're gonna do 20 reps of hop into the squat, jump squat up here. So again, you have to decide, we do it right, left, left, right, but you already hop into your squat. Only 20 reps, that's gonna be challenging. And if you are a beginner or you're not doing plyometric hops, just step and do the squat, especially if you have knees injuries or back injuries. All right, guys, everybody on the position, whatever you're doing, you're doing it with fire within. Here we go, begin. I count. That's it. That's perfect. Feeling hard to talk. Relax, starting to feel it. All the way up, jump, up. Try to hop, guys, a little bit wider, so we have 10 to go. That's it, A to finish. Finish strong, guys. Oh my goodness, that hop becomes really challenging. Four to finish, team. Finish strong. Two more. My legs. Giving up, seriously. All right, 20 reps. It's definitely was really sensitive. All right, guys, drink your water. Restore your breathing a little bit and we will begin our block number two. The block number two is a takeaway reps. So in the first block, the hardest round was the last one. In this block, the hardest one is the first one because we have the most amount of reps. This block is dedicated mostly to upper body, to your shoulders, to your arms, bicep, tricep, and chest. So what I want you to pick, a little bit lighter dumbbells probably, because upper body normally not as strong as the lower body. So your first exercise, guys, is your upper cut. 16 reps, we have five different exercises. First round, 16 reps for each. On the position. Ready? That's it. Cut it up. That's perfect. I count him. We're halfway through. Eight left. Seven. Six. Five. Four. All the way up, guys. Last one. Excellent. Put your dumbbells just for a second to make sure that your arms are ready for the next exercise. Your second exercise is your upright row, guys. 
Make sure you pick the right weight so you can sustain 16 reps total. Get ready, chest lifted. Do not drive with your wrist, drive with the elbows. Here we go. I have 10 pounds in each hand. Breeze, guys. Don't drop the dumbbells back. Release them with control. You've got this. We are halfway through with this one. Four. That's it, push it through. We have only four reps to go. One. Two, ignite that power within. Three. And one more. We all have different motivations, but I'm sure the one big motivation we all share is to be healthy. It's to be healthy and live long and healthy life. So when we're 100 years old, we can move without assistance and still taking the walks, playing tennis, or maybe doing the hardcore workouts. Who knows, right? Drink your water. Your third exercise in this block is your cross body bicep curl. Get ready, set, begin. So the first round, we're taking a little break because it's a 16 reps for each exercise. Moving forward for the next three rounds, when we take the reps away, we're not gonna stop. We're just gonna flow from one exercise to another if possible. That's perfect. Awesome, guys. Give me six more. That's it. Couple extra, just in case. All right, if you need to put your dumbbells on the floor for the quick second, for a quick couple second break, you can do it. Your next exercise is a clutch bicep curl. Shoulders up, back and down. Push your dumbbells, squeeze them together, begin. 20 pounds total in my hands. It's a pretty challenging weight for me, especially for a 16 reps dynamic speed. Do not quit. Reach up all the way. All right, guys, show me commitment, show me the good forms. Abs in, don't slouch the shoulders. No, 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 solid on your feet, like a mountain, like a rock. We have only six to go. Six, guys. Five, we've got this. Four. Three. Two. One more, everybody. Excellent. We're gonna put our dumbbells on the floor. Your next exercise is your tricep push-up. Cross body dumbbell. Let's begin on the feet. If you would need to put your knees later on, or the second part, we can do it. If you can't stay so long with your hands on your dumbbells, just do your push-ups and then pick up the dumbbell after you did a push-up. And your dumbbells has to be square, guys, so it so cannot be round for safety. All right, let's begin hold together in our feet, tricep to cross body bicep curl. Go, go. Abs in and tight, my friends. Remember, the first round is the hardest one because we have 16 reps for each exercise. All right, guys, if you need to put your knees on the floor now, you can try to stay with me. All the way, guys, just in between those dumbbells. You ready? Final six reps. Don't be shy, put your dumbbells on the floor, put your knees on the floor. If you have to, but I need you to complete this last four reps. All together, guys, don't quit. It's getting harder to return back. Let's make it through. All the way, one more, guys, one more. That's it. I'm so proud of you. Excellent work, everyone. Now, we have three more rounds of these five exercises, but we're going to take the reps away 
so it's going to be a little bit shorter round each and every time your next count of the reps guys is going to be 12 reps still long but let's try to keep it flowing without the breaks your first exercise is your upper cut on the position begin one I got you guys stay tall only little pivot halfway through that's it four left three two one all right upright row remember drive up with the elbows full breaths Perfect, don't drop the weights, guys. I want to see the best form possible. Only six reps left. Last one. We did it, all right. Next one, cross body, bicep curl, begin. All the way, I want you to bring it high on the level of the shoulder, that's it. Perfect. Halfway through already. That's it. Four reps. Two more. We've got this. And your clutch bicep curl. Only 12, guys. Press the dumbbells together. Begin. That's it. Four through. Stay with me. Six reps to finish, guys. Full up, release down. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. Put your dumbbells on the floor. We're gonna go for tricep push up, single arm, bicep curl across. When you would have to put your knees on the ground. Please do it, guys. If you can handle your hands on the dumbbells, put them outside and just pick up dumbbell each and every time. Let's do it together. I count. Try to catch up with me. 12 total, everyone. If you need to pause the video and complete it, do it. That's an advantage to take online class. If you're a little bit late, you always can finish it, all right. We only have six reps. Remember, put your knees on the floor if you have to, but don't quit. We have two more reps to go. Muscle up, everybody. This is your power challenge. Last one. That was amazingly strong, guys. The next round, we're only going to do eight reps for each exercise, which make it a little bit more easier. Try to flow, guys, from one to another. All the way through, we will begin with the upper cut on the position. Only eight. That's good. Perfect. Four left. Three. Super strong arms. Two. One. Good job. Upright row. Ready? Begin. Only eight. It will fly by so quickly. Four to go. Elbows up, try not to lift with your wrist at all. Relax your wrist, guys. Last one. Cross body bicep curl. Begin, begin, all ready. We have only four to go, nice and quick, guys. Form, all the way across. One more. Great exercise for, for, delt, for deltoid, by the way. All right, 
dumbbells, watch it. Glide bicep curl. We have only four to go, guys. Push it. Three. All right. Two, let's do it. Last one. I think this is the most challenging exercise in this block. I'm sure you feel it as well. All right. We're gonna do all the eight push-ups, cross body bicep curl. Let's try to finish it on our feet, begin. Give me excellent form, guys. I'm seeing chest right in between the dumbbells or your hands, if your hands on the floor. We have four. Plant them strategically for tricep. Last one. That's perfect. All right. All we have left to repeat these five exercises. One more time. Take away a reps challenge for that second block. We're gonna do each exercise only for four reps. You're right. All right, you've got this. Non-stop. Nice and quick with passion, commitment, and excellent form, guys. We're looking for that fire, motivation, purpose, and vision within. Once we found that, it's not gonna be long as you can achieve your goals because internal motivation, that what drives us. All right, begin. Only four. Beautiful, upright row. That's it. Cross body. That's good. Clutch bicep curl. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten pounds is a challenging weight. All right, we have only four push-ups and we're done with this block. Two more. All right, oh, one more, everyone. That's it. I'm so proud of you. Let's put your dumbbells back. We're gonna go back for our surprise cardio burst. Bony wraps, hop side to side to the jump squat. Or jump from the squat. That's a better description. All right, let's start strong. If we need to slow down halfway, that's okay. Legs tired, arms tired. But do not stop. Try to finish all 20, no matter what. Ready, set, let's begin. I count. All right, we are halfway through, 10 left. Hop right into that squat. That's it guys, we have only four to complete. Don't stop. Remember beginners, just step out in air squat. Last one. That's good. My legs literally, literally burning away. All right, drink your water, stay hydrated, and we have a quick and effective ab session. For your abs, you can use your dumbbells or you can use your kettlebell. Your first exercise is your standing tornado. Ab rotation. We have 16 reps. Try to keep those arms super straight, super strong. Arms are not moving. This is rotation from the torso. On the position. Only 16. 
focus. Arms following the torso. We are halfway through. Try not to drop that weight. Six reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we did a little bit more than I intend. All right. Your second exercise. You can use dumbbell or you can use kettlebell. I'm gonna use my 12 pound dumbbell. Your next exercise is your side oblique crunch. Dumbbell starting overhead. Bring your knee and elbow as close as possible. Let's begin only 16 reps. One, two. We got this. All the way, guys. Believe or not, halfway through. Eight left. All the way, guys, crunch. Don't just lift that knee. I need you to crunch. Four, three, two, one. Dumbbell back down for the final exercise. I will be using 15 pound kettlebell. We're going to sit down, but you can use dumbbell easily. All right, let me demo it for you. We're gonna be doing it in the leg lift boat or one leg on the floor for my beginners. We will be transferring, doing the crunch, pick it up and transfer to other side. Try to begin in your boat. And then if you need to put one heel on the floor, you will do it later. All right, mind for success. Transformation comes through challenge and persistence and dedication. Only 16 reps. Give me a good quality crunch. That's good. We are halfway through. Focus, guys. If you need to put one leg on the floor, please do it. Then switch your leg each and every rep, but don't quit. All right. Now, seeing guys, you really can't arch the spine. You have to scoop that belly in. We have only last three reps. One more on each side. Last one. We did it. We did it together, guys. Congratulations. Your power challenge workout for today is officially complete. However, I can't let you go without quality cool down stretches. So come on down, guys, on your knees. Wrist up your shoulder, set one on top of another. Excellent, fantastic work, everybody. We're only getting stronger. Up and down. Make sure to leave me a note down below, guys, in the comments. After you finish this workout, not right now, I need you to finish your stretches. Let me know how you feel and what was the most difficult exercise for today. Also, give me please updates on your strengths, weight loss, because this is why I'm doing it. I want you to have a progress. All right, one arm. Opposite leg, reach all the way. Four, three, today we're going to go for the bind. See if you can reach, if not, continue to hold your arms and legs extended. Breathe. All right, one more. Reach the arm up and forward, extend. All the way, guys, nice long extension right here. Four, three, two, Reach back if you can, all the way. Lengthen it, beautiful. Few seconds, perfect. Come on back down, we will tuck the toes and extend the knees. Both hands, guys, on the floor. Drop the head, 
relax your neck. All the way, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose or mouth. We will slowly reach the one leg up and give it a quality runner lunge. Find the balance. Four, guys. Three, all the way, lengthen in that back leg. Front forward fold, quad, Achilles, square the hips. We're going to step back to the dog. Do it through tabletop if you have to, other side. Step forward. Let's find the balance the best way you can. If it's not there, your legs are shaking and tired, put your back knee on the floor. Forward fold, right up here. Few seconds, guys. We have to hold the stretches at least for a few seconds. Take it back. Come on up and walk. Let's take a big final reach. Take your one wrist in lateral stretch. Back, obliques, arms, all the way to the other direction reach. All the way back, guys. Reach all the way up, nice and strong. Exhalation, fantastic work, everybody. I'm so, so proud of you. So rest well, recover well. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, subscribe and leave me notes after the workout. I'm eager to know how you feel and I will see you all tomorrow.